Hiya, hi y'all. So this video is probably a little bit random and it probably looks a little bit random because I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm sitting in like a weird spot on the floor. But what happened was I was filming this as part of like a day in the life vlog type of thing. But that video was so long and I talked about this situation long enough, like all the gifts and stuff for long enough that I just decided to cut it out of that video and make it its own video. So, hopefully you find this helpful and don't mind too much that I'm like sitting on the floor with no makeup on talking to you guys. So, let's get into the video. Okay, so I just really wanted to show you guys this before uh, Nathan comes home. So, he thinks, if you follow me on Instagram, then you would have already seen part of Nathan's Father's Day gift. We did our own little Father's Day, just the three of us at our house like the weekend before Father's Day. So I'm filming this the Wednesday before Father's Day. So like a few days ago on Saturday, we did our own little like just the three of us Father's Day at home type of thing. And I just knew I had to let him use his Father's Day gift early. So Nathan is super duper into cooking, um, cooking different meats and in different crazy ways. And he's he reads about all these chefs and all these cool restaurants, and he's just really, really into that stuff. So, uh, what I got him was a few things, and they're all from like Target or Walmart, so very easy. Like, they weren't too expensive, really. Um, really awesome. So, if you know anybody who likes to grill, who likes to cook in general, anything like that, it doesn't even have to be like your dad, it could just be a gift for anybody. These are the gifts you need to get them. So amazing, he loved them so much. I'm kind of glad he got to use them earlier because now I can like share with you guys like it was a total success. So at Target, I got him this awesome knife. <coughs> Bless you. So at Target, I got him this awesome knife. It was only like 15 bucks. It's this huge, awesome kitchen knife. It's like the never dull, like it has a sheet like you a sheath is that what they're called for like kitchen knives it has like a covering that also sharpens it which is great it's just a lot bigger and nicer than a lot of our other knives that we have so yeah and honestly that was probably like his the favorite thing that i got him like his favorite thing then i got him this and it was kind of like funny timing because he had just finished one of anthony bordeaux's books and one of his like things of advice that he gives in that book is that you don't need all these big kitchen sets that commercial places try to sell you. You just need one really good, decent sized kitchen knife that's really sharp. And so he, like I basically got that for him and he was like, wow, I can't believe that like you got that. And like, I had just read that. So anyway, so that was really cool. And then I got him this stainless steel. It's technically a grill topper, but because it's 100% stainless steel, you can put it in the oven, which I really wanted to get him because it's really big. Like it fits, it, like it takes up almost the whole like oven rack, which is great. Um, and I wanted to get him that because of how he likes to cook the steaks. He likes to, I think it's called reverse cooking, reverse searing. I don't know, but basically he puts them on like a sheet like that with um like he puts them on a sheet like that with like whatever seasoning and stuff he does puts them in the oven on a low temperature for kind of a long time and then he once they get to a certain temperature on the inside he'll take them out and like sear them in a cast iron skillet or on a grill <sighs> so fancy but yeah so it's just really important that it had like the holes on the bottom so yes if you have somebody who's very into like steak and meat cooking and stuff, that is something they will probably definitely appreciate. He really did like it. And again, it's like a really good size. That's really great. And then I got him this awesome little salt holder. Again, it was like six bucks. It was awesome. Um, also from Target, it was from the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia set, which everything that she comes out with is gorgeous. And this fancy salt. I actually researched what salt that like Michelin star chefs use on steak or just use in their kitchens in general and multiple Michelin star chefs said that they use this salt it's like the diamond crystal kosher salt it's the only salt they use in their test kitchen so which I actually found at Walmart surprisingly and yeah so I got that and I like put some in the little thing so freaking cool. So <laughs> Nathan thinks that that is his only Father's Day gift except that we had planned like 
I told him that that Sunday, because normally on the weekends he wakes up in like the early morning hours with Jax, but I told him on Father's Day, you just sleep in, I'll get up with Jax in the morning and I will cook you breakfast and I'll bring you breakfast in bed, whatever food you want, which he doesn't even want anything fancy. He just said he wants eggs and bacon and a waffle. Easy peasy, I can totally do that. But what he doesn't know is that he's going to get a picture frame. I am going to get some pictures printed already because I also got a picture frame for my dad for his office so it won't seem weird that I'm like going to pick up pictures at Walgreens and also I take so many pictures of Jack's in like all his little outfits and stuff so it just won't seem weird in general that I want to put him in a little outfit and like take all the pictures with like my lights set up and everything won't seem weird at all and I think what I'm going to do he has an outfit that's like jeans and a black t-shirt. Nathan has essentially the same thing. And then I have a black dress with flowers on it. So I think I'm going to like do my makeup and all this stuff. And we'll take pictures like with the three of us. And maybe I'll take like individuals of him and Jackson and me and Jackson. And just kind of feel out which one he seems to like the best. And get that one printed. And put it in this picture frame. And this was what? five dollars six dollars i can't doesn't have it on here but again at target they have the cutest the cutest picture frames at target man so cute and so inexpensive the one that i got for my dad um holds two four by six pictures and it was like 650 so awesome so the last thing is this i'm gonna take it out of the packaging oh my gosh it's just so cute go ask your mother so cute this was ten dollars at target it was on like an end cap hopefully you'll still be able to find them and the best part about this is that i didn't expect them to have mom ones and dad ones in the same place so when i was looking at these i thought they were all the same and i just randomly grabbed one off the shelf and I accidentally grabbed the mom one. So I had to go back to Target and get the dad one. Um, but it's kind of a happy accident because now we'll have like matching mugs. And they come with travel tops. So you can completely like seal it off. Which I thought was perfect for him to like go to work with and stuff. Yeah. I will be hard pressed to get him to take like cute Instagram-y like matching photos with me. That'll probably never happen in a million years. But it's still kind of cute that we have like matching mugs so and it came with this which actually my dad really likes these it's called a stroop waffle and it's like this little caramel thing that you put basically you fill the your cup with hot coffee and then you just set it on top and the caramel like melts i don't know maybe i'll probably put it on there and see if nathan likes it i don't really like caramel that much but whatever I just wanted to take this out and wash it and basically my plan is when I bring him his breakfast I'm gonna bring him like these two things first like I'll be like oh yeah I'm gonna cook but I'm gonna make coffee first like so I'll bring him his coffee and then just like set this on his nightstand and that'll be really cute and then I'll like bring in his breakfast in bed for Father's Day how freaking cute is that I just thought that is too cute. They had a, a few other ones that were just like dad related or parenting related that were really cute. Um, I actually saw one that was like parent, it was like an army green um, cup and it said parenting style survivalist in like that like army type of like almost like spray painted with like the stencils. So cute, that doesn't really match him. He's like so good at being a dad. He's like a total natural. So I didn't get that, but I did think it was cute. Yeah, so if you're looking for a few ideas, then this is really nice. And this is like, this combo I think was like less than $20. Even once you get, I mean, it's like 10 cents to get a 4 by 6 printed at Walgreens. So super inexpensive. And this is like the type of stuff that they'll actually use and like and all that stuff. I know it sometimes can be hard to shop for guys, but hopefully this gave you some idea of what to get, even if it's just like the knife or like the fancy salt or whatever. All right, I have to go put these back in my little hiding places until the day comes. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful in any way and you found some really good gift ideas, last minute gift ideas, less than $20. Some of them were like 10 bucks, less than $10. So 
hopefully this was helpful and yeah lots more videos coming soon my instagram will be linked down below let me know what you want to see in the comments subscribe stick around i've been posting weekly so yeah uh, i don't think i have anything else to say so wherever you are whatever you're doing just have a good one bye